Hey guys, welcome back. I think it's Tuesday. Yeah, it is Tuesday. Kind of lost track of my days here. Anyway, today we're going to go ahead and finish up our 2020 Panini Prism blaster boxes. Then maybe tomorrow we'll do some of the Ignite, or I don't know what we'll do yet tomorrow, but we'll, we'll have something going on tomorrow. But today we're going to go ahead and finish up the 2020 Panini Prism blaster boxes. Pick these up uh, last weekend. Well, two weekends ago now. It wasn't this past weekend, but the weekend before last, up at a Target in Kokomo, and I was really surprised when I got there. Of course, we all know how uh, retail has been a card desert, and I seen four or five boxes of these, and I just snatched them all up because uh, I wanted to open some of them, <clears throat> but there you see Joey Logano on the uh, front there. We have the green and yellow Hyper Prism Parallels, which are some really nice looking cards. That photo on the box does not do them justice. They're really sharp looking cards. Apparently there's red and blue Hyper Prisms, but I think those are Walmart uh, boxes, Walmart blasters. Not real sure on that 100%. There you see the back of the box. Here's all of their, uh, they're not odds, it's just the numbered, how many of each particular parallel there is numbered to what. There's their social media stuff and their legalese or their licensing rights and all that sort of goodie. Yeah, there, there's the hashtag who do you collect. We finally found on the last box of these. So there are six packs in this box, four cards per pack. Plus we also have the, uh, I don't know, some kind of manufacturing security device sticker thing. But there's our Hyper Prism pack and there's our six packs. Of course, I keep saying there's no thick packs, but there is no thick cards in this set that I'm aware of. I think Tim pointed that out on yesterday's video or the other day that there's no no relics in this. So that's why I haven't seen any thick packs. Or again, you see this very attractive purple foil wrapping. Again, the camera does not do this justice. There's the same same uh, numbers on the back, same information on the that was on the side of the blaster. Let's go ahead and get ripping this. Start off with a nice powertrain, Kevin Harvick. We have a Tyler Reddick, who if they uh, would have been, if, if Cole Custer doesn't win a race this year, this guy's Rookie of the Year. Of course, Cole won that race in Kentucky and got Rookie of the Year. We have a very nice, I guess that's a, I don't know what level of prism that is, but it's a Velocity Eric Almarola. We'll look at the back here in a minute. Um, see if that's numbered. Ooh, it is numbered. 23 out of 24. I'll have to <clears throat> check to see what what type of prism parallel that is, but very nice. And we have a four numbers for, <laughs> how ironic, Harvick. Got his number plastered all over this thing. So a couple nice inserts there. Well, one's a parallel and one's an insert, by definition. Pack number two. We have, uh, there you see a contest card, and I see a blue card peeking out there at the back. So we have a nice Brittany Zamora, and I wish they would quit putting rookie card on every single issue of, of, the, of the drivers every year. Um, Velocity, Martin Truex Jr., Thad Moffitt, and then a powertrain, Ricky Stenhouse, or I'm sorry, Chris Buescher. Still used to seeing Stenhouse in that car, sorry about that does not appear to be numbered. Well, look at that. It's a sharp-looking car. I'm used to, again, I'm used to seeing Stenhouse in that car over the years. Then I've just got used to seeing, seeing the 17. <clears throat> so by next year, I'll be able to, I'll be a little bit more up on that. Be a little bit more used to seeing Busher in it. Still used to seeing Busher in the 37. We have Clint Boyer. Of course, he just recently retired. He'll be in the Fox booth next year. Kevin Harvick, base set, stained glass, Bubba Wallace, and, ooh, a fireworks, Brittany Zamora. Don't think it's a parallel, but I've, that's a nice fireworks card. So, I don't know, Danny, you might have interest in this one if you've not pulled that one yet. Let me know. I don't have a Danny stat going on right now, but we can certainly make room for one. Um, go to pack number four here. <clears throat> stained glass Clint Boyer seems to be a lot of Boyer cards in this set I'm not complaining 
just taking note, Denny Hamlin, Joe Graff Jr., and our final card is a, another Chris Buescher powertrain. So we got two Chris Buescher powertrain parallels, a regular prism and then the blue prism, which I thought looked just fantastic, that blue foil. So we got another uh, contest card here. We'll drop that one off to the side here. Boom. So we have Harrison Burton. He'll probably be Xfinity Rookie of the Year this year. John Hunter Nemechek, who put up a good fight for Rookie of the Year despite being in the front row motorsports cards. Ooh, there's a really nice Richard Petty. And our final card is National Pride Kurt Busch. Again, I love the, the National Pride themes through the years with the <clears throat> this year the Capitol building and the, the Declaration of Independence there. And our final pack, final regular pack, before we get to our hyper green pack here, green and yellow. <coughs> Excuse me, sinuses are just atrocious today. Tony Stewart. Corey LaJoy with a mask on. So that kind of fits the times now. Kurt Busch, powertrain. And then we have a nice prism of Clint Boyer, National Pride, National Pride prism. So we got some nice base set cards involved in there. Just seen the Boyer Prism, just seen the Bush Prism. The Busher Powertrain. The Brittany Zamora Fireworks. That blue <coughs> parallel, Chris Busher Powertrain. The Kevin Harvick, four numbers. And that numbered Eric Almarola, I believe it's 23 out of 25 or 24. 23 out of 24, so that's really nice. The Velocity. So it's a base set parallel. Let me look at the box real quick and see what those are numbered to. Mm. Not really seeing it because there's too much small writing and I don't pick up small writing real good. So, <coughs> <coughs> excuse me. Still an attractive looking card. And this is our final pack that we're going to do for the day. This little, the, the green and yellow hyper prism. And we start off with Austin Dillon, stained glass. Very nice. Noah Gregson. It's a nice looking card. And our final is Bubba Wallace. So those are our three. Bubba, Noah, and Austin are three green and yellow hyper prisms. So once again, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. We are up to 247 subs. That's pretty exciting. We just keep inching our way closer to 500. We know in a couple days we'll get to 250, so that'll put us halfway to where we want to be. And as you see, I'm trying to make a little room here so I can get those easels put with some new cards on them, the cards that will be up for grabs when we do get to that 500 mark for our giveaway. So once again, I thank everybody for watching. Appreciate it. Please keep those likes, those comments, those subscriptions, all the positivity coming. Been getting a couple emails. I've answered those, but I do appreciate those as well. So let's keep the channel growing. We're headed in the right direction. So anyway, thanks again for watching. We will have some more cards to open tomorrow. Um, have a great rest of your Tuesday, and we will see you again tomorrow.